Well, hello everyone, and welcome to this Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play. Oh, it's on a wee bit different, it's on a wee bit more relaxing to play. Um, that's just kind of the mood I'm in, so I thought... I spent a, I've spent about an hour trying to find something, I've just been in a slump, you know what I mean? So I'm just like, Ugh. and I finally went, you know what? Let's just have some nice relaxing Crusader Kings 2. Relaxing probably isn't the right term because I can see this game easily becoming quite stressful, but it just sort of tunes itself to my me as well quite well at the moment. And uh, yes, so let's start a new uh, game. We're going to start as early as possible. We're not going to start with any of these big empires and do something that's a wee bit more guaranteed to do well. Well, even if you do badly, you'll be able to survive for quite a wee bit and you're going to get lots of points and still look relatively well on the scoreboard by choosing one of these. We're not going to do something intelligent and smart like that. We're going to... We're going to click on this. We're going to click on Realms. And we're going to choose someone incredibly small, but also not... Risking losing right away. I think Ireland, because the goal to unite Ireland and create the Irish nation might be quite a good one. Or should I go to my heritage and be a little guy in Scotland? But then that. Mm, I'm just going to get dragged into wars. I have no idea what's going on constantly unless I pay lots of attention. This person here starts with two. The opera really gets high up there. Try and make a wee tune. I think it was that was the guy I started with when I did this on uh, the stream. Yeah, I'm thinking Ireland. Definitely don't want to start as a king or anything like that. Sun small. Just a little independent. Yeah, I think this guy here, because he starts off with two. That gives me a slight advantage over the people around me. And then I can try and conquer this whole little first bit and then expand from there. Or should I start as a one? Now let's start down here, right at the bottom. Let's do it incredibly stupid and just ignore the guy that's already got two. And we're just going to start as this guy down here. Difficulty is 69% hard, base score is 50 plus 20 because he's a count, and negative 1 because he's got some form of vassals. What's this guy's like? Oh, they are all got that negative 1. Well, this guy doesn't. Small dynasty plus 10%. Means if he's dead, that's basically it because he's got no sons or anything. Let's see, yeah, we'll choose this guy. Let's play. And a Mongol invasion, the Mongol horde will between blah, blah, blah. doesn't really take much influence on us up here. Turpic conquest, historical, siege assaults on secret religious cults. I'll leave that to default. I don't even remember that being a thing. Shattered retreats on siege events on achievements disabled. Game must be played in Iron Man. Where's Iron Man? Ah, there it is. Iron Man's enabled. I don't see anything I want to change. Start of the game. Iron Man, whatever. Right, now let's get in and see what we've got at our control, what we can tweak with. Um, I suppose I should describe Crusader Kings 2 for those of you that don't know. It's slightly different from other Paradox Grand Strategy games, as in it's more about your dynasty, your lineage, your bloodline, whereas other games are more about the faction. Like, for example, you're playing Europa, it's about your faction. You play as the faction, the matter, even if the leader gets decapitated and there's a new leader put in place that had nothing to do with the original, you still play that nation. Uh, Hearts of Iron, again, you're playing as Germany, you're playing as Britain. Here, you're not. Here, you're playing as one man. It doesn't matter if that man is a king, 
or are these a count? You've got to be between king and count. This one man, you're between king and count. Or women, if depending on if what modes you change and all that and play a bit with. And then when you die, you become your heir. And so on. And obviously, the more powerful you are, the more influence you've got. So if I go to realm view here the now, like you see, we are a count. We are Chief Fergo of Dreshumishamain. No idea how that's meant to be pronounced. There's our heir, I'm guessing that's our son. That is our son. We do not have a wife. And that would be the door. And we're back. Um, so yeah, here is me. This is me. That's why my portrait's there and there. See the air. I've got all my stats here, which is how good I am at interacting with the world at certain things. And then this is the stats of my nation, which uh, basically is you take t my stat, then you add... Is it half of your chancellors and half of your wife's? For some of these, I think she does good for intrigue and stuff. See, I've got a zero intrigue skill. My guy is not good at, like, um, the shadier side of politics kind of thing and all that stuff. But he is relatively smart. He is very diplomatic. He does have some... Some skill in martial and stewardship, but when it comes to intrigue, basically someone comes up and stabs him and he's like, oh, do you know who did that? <laughs> like, it is, yeah, zero intrigue is a huge thing, but Chancellor's given me 16, so at least I've got that. Right, we should probably, whilst we're here, choose an ambition. What have we got available to us? Become a paragon of virtue. Don't see that happen. And then soon become exalted among men, become the king of Ireland, and build a war chest. Uh, I was hoping to be have a wife, because there's normally when you don't have a wife, have a wife, get a wife here is there, and that's really easy to arrange. Build a war chest, become king of Ireland is doubtful. Come exalted. Prestige is greater or equal to a thousand. Gain one diplomacy skill, gain a hundred prestige. Um, but I start off as tribal, so I'll probably use my prestige to build up my city. So, uh, that's hard to do. Paragon of Virtue is the most likely to happen, so we'll choose that one. What is it? What's its reward again? Plus one learning and a hundred piety. Be also known as the Holy. So I'll be the Holy. Chief Virgo of Drishamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamashamasham
So there we go, we'll choose Marshall. Stable all hence, go away, why didn't I do that already? Right, we should find a wife anyway. Let's see, who can we marry? I'm not really going to use this marriage as a producing air marriage because I've already got my air. So I'm just going to look and see who's the most important person I can marry. Preferably of age, so I can marry them right now. Rose Chief Virgo to get married. Chief Virgo would gain one prestige from marrying the House Earthmost from marrying a court. Uh, okay, that's not that great. Was she the relative of a count? That was down. Courtier, courtier. She was at, yeah, that was the. Right. She's the good one. No, she's not. Oh well, she'll do. We're just doing it for the sake of doing it. Right, now for my ear. Now we're going to probably want... He doesn't have... Oh, he does have a child. A grandson. Does he have an ear? We're probably going to want someone with good traits. Maybe see if we can see one of the heart ones. No. Mainly just stats we're looking for then. We'll leave them for now. We'll get this guy a wife. Oh, I might wait until some better ones are available, actually. I didn't see anything that was good. Plus, I'm derping a wee bit. Ruler's unmarried. We're just taking care of that. Unmarried heir. I'm not going to leave that for now. He's 49. Special minor titles grantable. Designated regent. That's one thing we'll need to look into, actually. Positions. So here's my council. Laws, technology, military. Let's just take a look at our little area here. Market village. We do have the money to start building a market village, so we shall do that. Right off the get-go. You can see prestige to build all of these. That so that's that being built. Right, improve the collection. Right, fabricate claims. This guy is really bad. His diplomacy skill. Yeah, he's only got one point seven three. I'd normally pop him on one of these borders right away to try and get a goal. But that is he's just gonna annoy them. Is there actually someone else we can put in instead? Diplomacy skill of ten. This guy's really going to hate us, and he's my... <sighs> Which is annoying as well, because I want money from him. If we come to... Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Vassals. Ah, okay. Opinion of the Pope is only 26. His opinion of Liege is 54. So as soon as we let a tick happen... Actually, let's just let... There we go, see? It's changed. He now gives me 4.7, a yearly income of 15.6, because he likes me more than he likes the Pope. That's the way religious vassals work. They basically give their tax to whoever they like more. Your nobles always have to pay tax to their liege lord, but the religious, they can be like, well, do I like the Pope better or do I like my liege lord better? And I don't have a liege lord, I'm independent. I am my own master. So that's good. He already likes me quite a bit, so I'm not going to be too worried about then appointing someone else here with a much higher diplomacy skill like this guy. If I go back into my vassals, negative 22. Oh! Recently fired. I didn't think it was going to be that much a hit. Goodbye, gold. Angry for not being on the council. 
What is his skills like? He's really good at martial, actually. So let's go back to my council. council. Oh, this guy's 13. Actually, oh, my whole council's quite good. Oh, and I take it he can't be a... I think I've got to give it a tick as well before I can change. I want to, I want to give this guy something. So if I go into my council, minor titles, designated regent. We're going to make him my designated regent. That'll help us a wee bit. I don't have any heir, eh, children. I could give him some children to look after as well. That'd improve his relations. Let's go into my council again now, though. And let's start giving them jobs. Fabricate claim now has a 4.5% chance yearly to give me a claim. Instead of the 1.7 or whatever it was, and then like 15% chance to infuriate the nobles, he's actually got more chance of getting me a claim than to thingy the nobles. So we're just going to take that and we're just going to drop it there. Lovely. Right, my marshal, suppress revolt, train troops. Or organized raid. We're gonna just train our troops here in Desmond. Our steward, what are we gonna order him to do? Settle tribe. Send your steward to members of your tribe to the country, increasing the chance that the culture will change to Irish. Nope. Oversee construction, local build time modifier. Build legend. We're gonna build my legend here to get me more prestige. We can spend our spy master. The steel technology scheme build spy network. I'm gonna steal technology and just send them all the way down. Oh, steel technology. Stick them all the way down there. And what's this? A short Kaplan. Improve religious relations. Yeah, I think we really need that right now. Improve my religious relations here with my little guy. Because um, that has a chance of making him like the Pope less, and it has a chance of increasing his thingy with me. So if I go back to me, go back to my vassals, and see it's negative 12 still. Right, I think that's as ready to let time advance. As we can see here, no fort, no trade ports. Building the wee tax thing. There's probably nothing else we can really do, intrigue wise. Let's let time start to advance. We take a look at our neighbours. This recommends he's got he's about 557 in his army. Look at me, 465. Yeah, not very nice. Look at this guy here, 474. I wish I didn't just plump him down. I can't move him over yet. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's my wedding. After the day of Chief Virgo are getting married, we can correct the royal aid duty to pay for the ceremonies. Yes, it's everyone's concern. We get 10 gold. No, people respect wealth. Gain 13 prestige. Well, I'm actually going to go with the prestige. And a blessing upon you and your house. I accept your suggestions. Get married. Well, that kind of was obvious already. There we go. I now have a wife. Which is putting my intrigue score and all that up as well because we're getting her score too. He's now at negative nine. Let's see, can I change this guy? I can't appoint. I can't appoint my thingy guy. It must be because he does not like me at all. Rope tail plot to kill. Take concubine. <laughs> I can take him as my concubine. I really don't think he's going to agree to that. Arrange marriage, revoke honorary title, revoke title, award honorary title. Yeah, there's not much I can do to make him improve at the moment. Are we still paused? We're not meant to be. No, we're not. Let's speed things up a wee bit. Right, there it is, arrived in the court. Okay, oh, what's this? My liege, the people of Tark have prospects very beyond our technology level. I've managed to study their advancements and documents enclosed here should help us reach their level. I hope you find this to your satisfaction. Your humble spy master, Wonderful! We gained some technology points.
Your marshal has introduced a massive recruitment drive. Brilliant. We're up to 526 troops now. We're actually looking half decent. This guy's 600. Oh. oh whoa, what the trudge is happening here? The army of peasant revolt. Well, son, didn't go quite right over here. How the fudge is there such a large army? Okay. We produce 476 light infantry here, 118 archers, and 16 heavy infantry. Our market village is well underway to be constructed. There's not really much for me to do. Apparently, the wench is throwing herself at you. Okay. We got another dilemma. Pretty way just for us infantry. If we choose a can't resist her, we gain Lustful, which is going to give us an intrigue, a fertility plus 20, and church opinion negative 5. Mind over body, mind over body, we gain cha Chaste, which gives us monthly piety, plus 1 learning, negative 15% to our fertility. We've already got an air anyway. A church opinion, an opposite trait effect, negative 5. I think I'm going to be chased. Because I don't see why not. I've already got a good AR. I want this guy to like me more. Actually, let's see. For all we know, he might be lustful. Greedy, brave, slothful, gangrenous. Yeah, so he'd probably, he'd probably like me being chased. Chastised. Mind over matter. Mind over matter. Yeah, there's lots of intriguing like, little things like that to do too, of course. See if I was just uh oh. Market Village has been built. Brilliant. We don't have the money or anything for all this. We are for getting next to none incoming. My liege! Oh wonderful, more technology. He is doing one hell of a job. Can he be moved over here now? Brilliant, because this guy's got 590 troops. Actually 706. Yeah. <laughs> I've only got the 610. Which is not enough, to say the least. Ha! The fools fight amongst themselves! Actually, let's take my air. Let's see this guy's relations. He doesn't have any daughters. I was hoping he'd have a daughter. Could try and marry off to get an ally in scone or something, but no well. It was not to be. Oh, more technology. This guy is doing awesome, which actually reminds me. Laws. States of women. Obligations. Council. Inheritance. This has changed. None. Feudal. Okay, this has changed since I last played it. Adopt feudalism. What do you need now to adopt feudalism? It has the law absolute tribal organization. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I don't see that in... Laws, absolute, the status of women, because it used to be just a thing here, you could tick up. Noble, church, tribal. Tax shifted, tax, hey, this is our tribal. This is our village, basically, Then this church is, then there's... Don't know what they are, and then that's our like castles. Administration, broke title, fill, inheritance. I don't see the ob. Tribal, maybe shifted over. That shifted. So you can lean more towards tax or troops. Fast vassal obligations. So where have they put... Ha! 
has absolute tribal organization, capital holding, the most wanted is true. Golden type tribal. Golden type is castle. Oh well, we can worry about that another time. Found the Holy Roman Empire, raise a tribal army. And borrow 300 from the Jews. And then kick them out, which is quite funny. But anyway. We could advance our technology in some areas. Light infantry would have been a good one to advance. Which organization was this to? Row of armies, gold supply limit, written news. I think we're going to leave it for now. Just wait till we can get light infantry. Well, we've already got level one. Construction, change policies, improved keeps, church infrastructure, town infrastructure. Does that mean my thingy ones too? I think it does. Improved keeps. I think this means my little tribal place as well, so I'm going to do that. We going to do the church too, because we've got churches. And we've got enough for both. This guy still hates me. See if we can do anything about that. Relieve commander. Oh! There we go. You have a new heir. We just died. There the now. So be it. I said that we'd die very soon. Right, so this council is discontent. Your council has been discontent for two months. Council's because I don't have a council yet. Positions. Right, let's appoint a chancellor. It's gonna be this guy. Let's appoint a marshal. The, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, time should be paused. I don't think it was meant to hurt me, but the criticism still stung me more than it should have. An eye for an eye. We gain wrath. Or turn the other cheek. We gain patient. Which is only good, really. I think we're gonna gain patient. But pause. Pause for now as we appoint ourselves a marshal. Negative 38? Why is it there? Church view and lustful. Oh. Church is legis cruel. Yeah. Wants a seat in the council. 40. We'll be able to improve it by 40. It does have good. There you go. You can have a point. Powerful vassal. Marshal. This guy. Steward. This guy. Spy master. This guy. He was doing a great job earlier. Minor titles, he's still there. The council. Brilliant. Loyalists, pragmatists. This is all new. This is quite new. I've never seen this before. They've changed so much since I last played this game. Right, improved diplomatic relations, fabricate claims. Drop you back down there, trying to do that. Special vault, train troops, drop you in there. Build legend. You go back to steel and technology down here. Build zeal. So we're already level 80, level 50, age 50 of this character. Choose an ambition. Build a war chest, become King of Ireland. Ugh. I'm not going to become King of Ireland just yet. Let's choose a focus. Let's do this one again. Select. Hey, he likes us with six. Let's get married. Miss misclicks 101. But she's... We'd gain tons of stuff from marrying her, but how old is she? We wouldn't get to marry her yet. Gotta wait till she comes of age. And she is currently... One. Well, that's not the best.
I'm doing the rest of the letters to show the roof unit will rule the island and the fathers this way, ensuring the continued thanks to the ruler of the world here is free. Bishop? She'll do. She's like next year. Right now. Marriage. I don't see any good traits. She's only one. How old is this guy? 20? Oh, I see a bad one. Slow. I don't want her anyway. But we will get 100 prestige from marrying this one. So, yes. And by the time we become him, hopefully they'll be married. Now that we can advance time again. Oh, wonderful. We just got to wait the year. Betrothed and incoming. We need to improve our relations with this guy. Opinion. Oh. Yes. Cern 30 Prestige. Give me... You know what, we'll take the gold this time. Because I didn't get to spend the prestige last time. 486 troops. Not ideal. Council is discontent. If we give this guy a title, what does it do? I'm guessing it'll make him happier. We can only give him the one. I know it costs us a wee bit. So he likes us to 15 now. 16. Short rain. We need to get rid of that short rain. Personal diplomacy. I need to get my personal diplomacy skill up too. Yeah, having a good diplomacy is kind of important for your leader because it then gets everyone to like him. So, what can we do now? Let's take a look. There's no one with claims. And I can't really claim land that way anyway, because one a good way, once you become, say, a duke. Once I've got, like, these four under my title and I make, like, the dukedom. I'll be able to go over here and go, right, there's a brother with a claim to this county. I can invite him to my court, make him my vassal by granting him, say, here. And he's now in charge of here. And then... I press his claim, invade and conquer here for him. And so he's my vassal. Oh, giddy up, we gained the marshal, yay. So he is now my vassal and we've now conquered here for him. So he owns both, but he's still my vassal, still a part of my influences under my control kind of thing. That is a good way to expand your territory once you're big enough, but I'm too small to do that at the moment. Oh, what? Why does he have to like the Pope? Stop liking the Pope. I'm not going to get that juicy, juicy money. 16.8 yearly income. So every year I'm used losing 16.8 gold that's going to the Pope instead of me. I need 400 influence to get any of these up. Oh. I really wish I started off with these two provinces like I said I should do. Uh, I'd have twice as many vassals, I've had a lot more income, I'd be getting a lot more prestige. Uh, yeah, I made a little bit of doo-doo butter out of this. But I can always take on massive debts and hire an army to come invade here <laughs> if we ever do get this claim. 608. This air is... This has got a good martial skill. You know what we could do? We could plot to assassinate this guy. Plot to kill. I do have a relatively good intrigue. Change council position. Ah, oh, that's what I should have done with him earlier. Revolt honorary title, revolt title. Fire chancellor, send gift. Imprison him. 
Be seen as a tyrant and everyone will like us even less. Pie is going up. Dominion size. Our score is 75. Yep, we're not doing that well on the scoreboards. Lose one gold. Courtier named. Oh, it's to get a. Yeah. Borrow freedom from the Jews. Buy indulgence for my sins. Oh, they've had another big, huge rebellion go on here. Which is good for me. That's really good for me. Because if I nip in just after it. Whoa! How the hell has he got so much troops? Event spawn 706. Yeah, that's the rebellion. And it's going to be a similar thing going on here. Uh, your kinsman Arta has sent you a gift. It was a small puppy, but out of the finest pedigree and destined to grow into a great hunting dog. I will accept this gracious gift. Which gives us one diplomacy, one health. There's two insulted. Why would I ever... Why would I ever choose to not get the diplomacy and health? I'm guessing if I wanted my character to die. But diplomacy and health is great. Faithful hunter, tricky. I'm going to choose faithful. Because I'm thinking that might give me more diplomatic. Stuff, there we go. Diplomacy is up to three. Which really helps. Make people like me better. Ah. Uh. I just need to get rid of Krill, and I just need to get rid of Lustfall, and then I'm nearly there! Well, once Short Rain's gone, if I've got rid of those two. Your dog has grown quickly, he's not a little puppy, he runs fast, and as a kid knows, his bite's hard too, as several of the dog handlers can testify. Gain 10 prestige, yay! I'm happy with my place in life. I can think of anything I would rather do to care of myself and my friends. I'm content. Favorite loves. Okay. Okay, so improve relations with someone. My liege, the people of Frugos. Yay, wonderful. Free technology. An open council position. Steward. Did the steward die? Oh, there's no one available to be the steward? We're going to need to invite someone to court then. It's going to cost one gold. And it was a lot. Ah, oh, noble woman? I wanted a noble man. I don't think you can be my steward, can you? Well, you cannot. Right. Hold summer fair. One for the prestige. I don't see the promote commander. Ah, there we go. Invite a holy, holy man. Invite a noble to court. There we go. Excellent. Points. And oh, look at that stewardship skill of seventeen. Glorious that is. Build legends. Build my legend, give me prestige. But yes, here, alas. Oh. Okay, we can make a move. Uh, who's this? Just a courtier? Be as well, we'll make a move. It is good to be the chief. At least I'm not getting any negatives from that. So, yes. I hope you've all enjoyed this. Join me all next time, but I'm going to try and figure out how to get out of this dilemma. Still attacks. Recently conquered. Oh, yes, this is all brilliant. Still got 706 troops. They're all event spawned. That is just not fair. That is just not fair. Look at this. No garrison. Oh, wait, just a garrison. Just no, no. Why does everyone have event spawn troops apart from me? 
So yes. Oh, what's this? When serious just man is offered the service of the court, he is well versed in feudal court intrigue and Oh indeed. Lovely, a new member of the court. So yes. Right, I pause because I keep getting distracted and unable to I just want to double check again. Well, we can build a four, but that's not a one. Yeah, we don't have enough money for anything or that stuff, so yes. Hope you've all enjoyed this. And join me all next time where we're gonna, as I said earlier, try and figure out how we're getting out of this predicament. I'll see you all next time. Bye, bye.